hello everyone and thank you for, for this invitation. Um, so, so this is a very important question. Uh, as you said, hepatitis C is, 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 uh, can be cured uh, easily now with, with the new, new treatments. For hepatitis B, we have uh, uh, nucleoside analogs that achieve valve suppression, uh, but requires lifelong uh, therapy because of the persistence of the virus in the liver. So now the uh, uh, current consensus um, for the new treatments that are, that are emerging is really to um, uh, achieve a functional cure uh, with a finite duration treatment. So short-term treatment and functional cure defined by HBS antigen loss um, that should be sustained after treatment cessation. Uh, and this um, is expected to, uh, to be associated with a sustained antiviral uh, effect, improvement of liver disease, and prevention uh, of hepatocellular carcinoma. So these are very important endpoints and targets. Again, uh, a very important question. The, uh, um, by comparison with hepatitis C, hepatitis C virus uh, is maintained in, in the infected cell just by replication. There's no archive. So when we block replication, then the virus will fade away and will be eliminated. With hepatitis B, uh, we have two mechanisms of, of persistence, uh, which explain the difficulty to cure the infection. One is a persistence of CCC DNA, the viral genome of the virus, as a, as a mini chromosome in the infected uh, cell, in the nucleus of the infected cells. Um, so this today cannot be uh, eliminated. So if we stop treatment, there is a, a relapse of, of our infection uh, uh, coming from uh, the CCC DNA. And the second mechanism is the fact that the immune responses, the antiviral immune responses, again, the uh, HBD infected cells are exhausted in chronically infected patients. So now um, uh, regarding the new strategies that are being developed, there are strategies to block replication much more efficiently to, to uh, uh, have an indirect effect on CCC DNA, or even uh, other strategies that are trying to target CCC DNA directly, that would be the uh, ultimate goal so that we can eradicate CCC DNA. Uh, but this is very challenging. And uh, the third uh, point is really to try to uh, restore uh, it, uh, antiviral immune responses so that we can stimulate uh, um, the exhausted uh, immune responses. So these are the main uh, strategies that are being developed in clinical trials today. Currently, they are, there's a lot of uh, excitement and it's really a, a, a very dynamic field uh, today where we have uh, many drugs uh, that are uh, directed against the virus. So they are direct acting antivirals. So we, uh, such as the capsid assembly modulators, RNA targeting a, a strategies such as siRNA, anti-sans oligonucleotides. Um, we have uh, strategies um, uh, trying to block um, uh, viral egress, such as the nucleic acid polymers, uh, as well as novel nucleoside analogs uh, and uh, um, uh, viral entry inhibitors. So these are very exciting. Uh, they are in clinical trials, phase 1b, phase 2a, and even phase 2b. And they are uh, also uh, immune modulatory strategies uh, using TLR agonist, uh, checkpoint inhibitors, and therapeutic vaccines that are uh, being uh, evaluated in clinical trials. And, and now the real, the real challenge, and, but this is really uh, uh, interesting, is that we have all the different uh, tools uh, to combat the virus, either directly or via the immune responses. And, and really the question is, how are we going to combine all these different drugs 
to, to be more efficient and to achieve functional cure in patients. So, so the clinical trials uh, currently are, are really addressing uh, the issue of the combination uh, of, of the different uh, treatment strategy, different mode of actions. So, the, so we will see in the next couple of years uh, how this will uh, progress. But this, there is a lot of hope in, 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 that, uh, in that direction. Here it's more of a public health uh, a question. It's very important. It's a, it's a global HPV is, uh, is really a global problem. More than 250 million chronic carriers with high risk of liver cancer. Um, the uh, the issue is uh, regarding eliminating viral hepatitis as a major public health threat uh, within the next 10 years. It is really to uh, try to combine different approaches. One is to, to, uh, to have a better coverage uh, for the vaccination uh, to prevent new, new infections. So that's the fir first thing. And we need still to, to work out on, uh, on vaccination. And for those that are uh, cr already infected, chronically infected, um, the, first of all, the issue is to, to, so that the patients know their status. Uh, the, uh, so first of, of all, it's raising awareness about hepatitis B, doing screening programs uh, to, to know whether people are infected or not. So this implies um, uh, not only doctors, but also patients uh, and many stakeholders so that we, we, we are sure that HBV is on the forefront uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, for, for uh, uh, knowledge uh, and, and screening efforts. So that's very important. Uh, the second thing is once people are, are know their diagnosis, that they are uh, carriers of the virus, uh, then they need to be linked to care. And that's a major issue to be, because many people infected with HBV are living far away from hospitals, reference centers, uh, so the linkage to care is very important. Uh, and then is uh, uh, the clinical management of patients uh, for the correct diagnosis, uh, antiviral treatment with the drugs that we have, which are good. The nucleoside analogs are good and we need to treat uh, uh, patients who are in need. Um, but all this needs uh, really a lot of resources uh, and we need to work also with the uh, um, uh, uh, ministry of Health of each country, they need to, to understand that the level of each country that hepatitis B is an important problem and, and that resources need to be devoted for uh, the management of hepatitis B. And obviously then the next step will be, uh, and we were discussing about um, research, trying to have better treatment, um, hopefully all oral treatments, so given orally, a short term treatment with high rate of functional cure, hopefully 30% or even more, then we would be able to treat all carriers. So the, the, the uh, uh, ultimate goal would be to treat all carriers and provide high rate of functional cure. So that's really the, 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 the hope uh, for the next 10 years.